my GoPro. Good camera. It has some bugs and issues that I'm getting over with, figuring out. And this is the serial number for it. Be my guest to uh, do what you want. Because I'm going to pack this up and go get another one and exchange it out. And hopefully that camera will do just fine. So let's get going. Hey everyone. I packed my GoPro up. No, I'm shooting with it right now. I'm exchanging it Best Buy. And that's what I'm going to do. Why? Uh, some of the bugs and issues. I figure, why not, during the return cycle period, go get another one until you get a good camera. Right? I guess I'm the only one that has these random bugs and issues. Oh, they're not that bad. The one in this camera is not that bad. The one in the camera I had before was not that bad. And I believe the new one I'm going to get should be a perfect camera. Is your GoPro Hero 10 a perfect camera? I would love to hear if you had one single bug and issue. $500 is expensive. $631 is quite expensive. And I'm not using the media module, it's home. And I'm shooting on the GoPro Hero 10 as I'm doing this and heading towards Best Buy once again. I went three days in when I returned my first one. I'm six days in and returning my second one and I got eight days left of the return. How nice is that? Next weekend is Columbus Day weekend and it should be a sale. And it may include a free SDXC card and I could always go in and get that matched price. I just want to assure everybody on my channel, I love the GoPro, I really do. And I just want to let you know the camera does what it's supposed to do. So don't get me wrong with what I'm doing. I love the fast turn on. I love the quick shutdown. And that is one major improvement. For me, the new interface, it's nice. It's still the same. It just has just one or two additional things. Oh, I love the shortcuts that I could long press them and change them to anything I want. Double the frame rate is double the camera, but it also comes at a cost of additional battery being used. Each video resolution and frame rates, depending on what you have set up, the battery changes on the percentage and that's something neat. So you shoot at the highest resolution, it tells you your percentage. You shoot at a low, lower resolution, you're gonna have more battery percentage. How sweet is that? Hypersmooth 4.0, Time Warp 3.0. Oh man, that is so smooth. Back over there, I did that test over the bumps and I went down the stairs by accident I think that is a seller in the camera. Linear Plus, horizon level. Oh man, I'm on an angle and my video is straight as can be. That is a neat feature, up to about 45 degree angle. There are so many more features in the camera that I haven't even gone through. And the scheduled time lapse, night lapse, making schedules is awesome. And that's something you don't have in the older cameras unless you go to GoPro Labs or for like horizon level, you go to the GoPro app and you could do that on your other cameras with Real Steady. I love the idea that I can put the camera on timer and then mode on, hit the record button three and 10 second timer for video and other things. One of the things I like about the new camera is time warp 
and that's exactly what I'm doing now and I'm adding my voice directly from the camera by hitting the real-time badge once I get off of it Warping through time without sound so I add some music to it. That is an awesome feature The GoPro Absolutely nothing wrong with it, but some minor bugs and issues and sure enough what I'm doing here I'm going to wrap this review up and I'm gonna just basically do what I always do best and show you that unboxing review and I am returning it for a new one I don't think there is much issues with the camera many issues with the camera and nobody out there is reporting it any issues so I want to make sure that I take my SDXC card out and I'm gonna hear people say what did you shoot at that particular minute oh well, I'm shooting with this camera it's my backup camera now and I always use the recent cameras that I have oh I love the features of GoPro I really do today's a beautiful subtle day the noise just settled down and the store doesn't open up for another uh, maybe uh, half an hour and I got about a half an hour ride. Now what if they don't have a, uh, a new camera? Well, you know what, I take the camera and I continue to use it and I'm not going to worry. I am your long-term user. Well, once twice three times might as well because i don't know what next week's gonna bring me with the camera it could just you know just be so wonderful and it could be so bad new camera should work brand new no issues out of the box and that's one of the things that the osmo action did it worked quite well out of the box i had one issue a uh, battery exhaust uh, a prompt came on at uh, 90 percent and the camera worked fine afterwards. It came on again, it worked fine afterwards until they got newer firmware on the market. That issue has no longer came with the camera. Firmware 1.30 that happened about. Uh, they improved upon the, uh, the processing of the front screen, uh, not having a latency, but the GoPro with Wi-Fi has still that micro latency, just a little bit and nobody's mentioning that. Well, this is probably the longest video I've just done. And it's gonna get cooler, and the camera's not gonna overheat because GoPro came out to their reviewers that they gave this camera to and told them to tell everybody on their channel, GoPro reassures that the camera is working 100%. No need to worry, continue to use your camera like so. And you have to trust 200,000 uh, plus subscribers. I'm not even near there. I'm a small channel, small YouTube creator. What more can I say? GoPro is a great camera. Trust me. The cable they gave you, the original one from the Hero 8 that I have, is longer, about that much. This one is shorter. So the cables are getting shorter and shorter. I don't know why they shortened the cable. It's supposed to be a U.S. B 3.0 cable, compatible cable. The uh, US 2.0 had blue inside. This is the standard USB cable. Now GoPro, you did a great job. They give you stickers and all. And I was going to say something else about the camera and everything. And I just totally, you know, I go along as I see it. I'm your long-term user. Yes, I am and I won't give up on GoPro. I use my recent cameras all the time. So if you're looking for a budget camera that does not have HEVC Kodak, that's the DJI Osmo Action. And I have yet to do any, any comparisons. I don't have my other uh, adapter to do the comparisons for you. And I am going to basically continue to shoot with this camera for you. 
I am going to pause the video because I don't want to have uh, two continuous files and start to look for them. So hang on. I'm just going to rest the camera for a second and continue right where I left off. Three seconds later, I want to wipe my nose and I'm continuing on. Don't give up on GoPro that easy. The GP2 chip is brand new. It's been around for a short period of time. I'm trying to put this in here and uh, I don't know. I don't know why they just do things uh, that particular way with GoPro and all. So, big world and we got to be like this. And that's why I paused the video. I am your YouTuber that will show it like it is. And I hope you uh, can understand that. I'm doing a time lapse. I'm going to do it for maybe a couple minutes. And I'm, again, pleased with the camera. And yeah, what went wrong with your video at that particular second? Well, I switched over to a DJI Osmo action camera. I'm not a fanboy of any of the cameras. I'm open and honest, unbiased review of who I am. And if I don't like something, I'll tell you like it is. If I love it, I'll tell you like it is. And I guess I am finishing up. I don't have my heat gun. And it's a beautiful day. And I need to now take everything off. I won't be able to use the uh, new camera when I get it. So I didn't take... Uh, the firmware on an SDXC card, but I can upload everything. So I make sure I do this unboxing like I always do. Do my best to get the uh, battery out. If I'm having trouble getting the battery, I could simply just, you know, shake the camera. Once the battery is just partial, I do that. This is the most important part right now. I got my SDXC card. I don't want to drop it. I really don't want to drop it. I put it in my SD card slot and in my pocket it goes. This is the battery door on. <laughs> That's the battery. I do apologize. This is the paper, and the paper goes this particular way with the tab facing the bottom, and you kind of press the, the button, and you work this on. I want to make sure I give somebody back a working camera. There we go, press it right on there. No issues. I have uh, the bag, the battery, and I have the back screen protected. Back screen protector goes on. Camera goes in. Battery goes in. And I simply release the pieces. Battery on the bottom cable like so close her on up here's the bag the box all came in Slide 
slide it in. One last thing to do. Put it in this plastic bag and I forgot. GoPro is a unbelievable camera with a GP2 processor chip and waiting for more firmware to mature as this camera goes along. We are on firmware 1.1. In November they're supposed to release more firmware and if people are telling you the camera is not going to get this or that, you have to wait for what GoPro has in store for you in future firmware and not what the consumer says. GoPro is the one that makes this camera. So let me pack everything on up, which I've done, and get on out of town. I don't get people at times, they got all this room here and they had to walk right against the table because they want to get in the cameras with you. I get it. So let me, uh, Start to make sure I don't uh, get any damages here to me. There we go. Everything is all uh, just about the way I want it. I want to turn this around so this box is facing the other way. There I go. I'm on the road again. I'm heading back now to Best Buy, taking my sweet time. I got about uh, 15, 25 minute bike ride. And let's get down to where I need to go. Deja vu. Did I just do this again? Making a mistake, hitting the record and then it stopped. And hit the stop, I'm recording. I do that with the Osmo Action uh, because of the system. I don't know. One of the issues I had this morning with the camera during the ride was the beep, 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 beep. And that's the SD card error. It did not record the file. Nice looking rims. I'll talk about the bad times, the downers, the cons of the camera. In from here on to the store. Reboot. The camera would not reboot. 12 second press, it did reboot. SD card error. Camera shut down, turned on, repaired the file. The camera stopped recording, shut down, did not repair the file on turn on. Plugging in the cable to the camera and putting it into the port charger, the front screen bled. It showed it was on and immediately turned off. The same thing would go for the back screen as well. The immediate on and off and the LED would stay lit and on. Charging. The red LED would have stayed lit and it did. And the camera was 100% charging. You would think the LED would have went out. It stayed lit, so you don't know if it was 100% charging, is what I was kind of saying. At another time, the light was out and the camera wasn't even fully charged. And a reboot was needed. These issues just go on and on and on and on oh single-handedly a camera freeze is one of the things and the camera needed to be in the off position at given times 
Well, don't get me wrong, people. The camera does its job. It has its little bugs and issues. And it seems that they're in the camera and they come out on a timely manner. When that day goes by, those bugs don't come back or they may come back randomly later on. So it's like a 30 day bug in there. You gotta let it run its course. But if you're not happy owning a camera after 30 full days and no bugs still continue to come on, then you got a problem camera. So you want to think about the next step, an extended warranty. So you can continue to return and return and return your camera. I only returned my camera for the third time and hoping the next model will do just fine. So that's who I am. I want to make sure I got the right camera, the good camera with the minimal bugs and issues. And that's what GoPro is about. Trying to get out a product so you can tell GoPro what to fix in their camera. So the GoPro Hero 11 for you would be the perfect camera. And that will come out September of 2022. So let me get on to Best Buy. It's about time they're open. And let's get going. Let me go get dressed up now. Escape route. I found it. I'm out of the park. Get on to the bike path. And continue on down the road. No bike rack. Go find a pole and lock my bike up and head on into Best Buy. There's a bike rack right in there. Right in the store we go. Right here. Oh, they got my cone set up. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, I got 14 days from today, 14 days from today to decide on my keep or return of the GoPro Hero 10. So no more bugs, no more issues, no more concerns. A brand new camera starting all over once again. I got a ton of editing, gonna modify my clips, take some scenes out, do whatever I can do, remember what I shot in my story I shown to the world. And I hope you get something out of all of this video. If it's a GoPro or DJI, just enjoy the camera you got because there's always going to be another camera out on the market and you're always going to want to get that and you know the story there is never a perfect camera for anyone one camera always do what the other one cannot do and that's why you got a number of cameras this is your action camera made for sports and we use it for vlogging have a great day i'm fish and I catch you on many other videos to come.